Bob Terry, and get ready for another action-packed classic western episode of The Adventures of Kit Carson, starring Bill Williams and Don Diamond. And it's brought to you here free online by westernsontheweb.com, your home for hundreds of western movies, western TV show episodes, and even our original western web productions. Get ready, because here comes Kit Carson and El Toro in The Adventures of Kit Carson. office hold-up kit. There have been half a dozen since we established post offices in the new territory. Does it look like the work of one gang? Well, it's hard to tell. Most of the witnesses have been murdered. Well, this is very bad. It'll be worse if the people lose faith in their post office department. Kit, the army said that I could borrow you. With your consent, of course. Show me the area where the gang's been operating. Thanks, Kit. Well, I... Struck here, here, and here. Now, here in Briscoe, everything's been quiet so far. Briscoe? That's a mountain town right near the Utah border, isn't it? See, si, I know it well. It reminds me of a very pleasant stopover on my way to California. The sheriff's been warned. But frankly, it's wide open. How would you like to make another stopover, Toro? Maybe not so pleasant this time. With you, amigo, who knows what will cross our path? We'll keep in touch, Inspector. I'll be waiting to hear from you, kid. You're going. Looking for the Masters gang. Why? I'll tell Tom Masters when I see him. <laughs> What's a kid like you want with Tom Masters? If you're one of his gang, you can take me to him and find out. All right. Right ahead. All right, speak up, kid. I want to join up with you. <laughs> Shut up! Let's hear this kid out. How'd you find us? My dad owns the general store in Briscoe. When one of your men came in to stock up on supplies, I took a chance and followed him. Did you hear that? A kid. He spots you when you come down for supplies. Suppose he'd been a lawman. All right. Suppose he was. That's when are we afraid of the law. Don't fight, you two. We're not hiding up here. We're waiting. The only reason we're doing all right is because we keep our tracks covered. That's no reason for Will not to be more careful. Look, you go back to your father's store and forget you ever found us. You want to stay healthy. Now, wait a minute. I can shoot and I can ride and I'm not afraid of the law. I told you, forget you ever saw us. We're not taking on any young punks. Now see, he gets out of here. All right, come on. Come on.
Gentlemen, you name it and I'll cook it. But it better be beef stew. You know, senor, I was just about to order that. And maybe some coffee, too. Okay, I'll see if I can find some. Say, ain't you Kit Carson? That's right. Now, how about something to eat, huh? We're hungry. Okay. I recognize you, Kit. Is that good or bad? Well, it might be good. Strangers in town, huh? No, no rough stuff, Joe. Mind your own business. You better be good. You know who that is? No. That's Kit Carson, the famous scout and lawman. Kit Carson? You mean that's Carson sitting over there? That's right. Kit Carson. Famous lawman. All right, masters. Watch me go. So you're Kit Carson. You see, Kit, news travels fast. That's right, son. I'm Carson. Famous army scout, lawman, Indian fighter. Pretty tough man, ain't you? Oh, I wouldn't say that. Right now, I'm a pretty hungry man. Ain't nobody ever got the best of you, have they, Carson? Oh, I've had my lumps here and there. Caramba, we eat at last. Now, would you mind stepping back, son, uh, and give us some eating room? Draw, Carson. Now, wait a minute, son. What's the matter with you? What's bothering you, chiquito? I said draw. Oh, I guess, Julie. Now, why don't you listen? I'm sorry I had to do that. He'll be all right. Just pour some cold water on him. Would you mind repeating that order, please? Right away, Mr. Carson. What's the matter, amigo? He deserved it. I didn't want to do it, Toro. No? Would you rather he shot you so he can make a reputation for himself? I'm the hombre who shot Kit Carson. Look out for me. I'm a big, bad outlaw. It's not funny, Toro. That boy got a bad start somewhere for some reason. He's going to get hurt someday. Well, it's about time he got back. What kept you so long? Did you go to the post office? Well, that's easy. We've got no problem there. But Kit Carson and his pal El Toro are in town. So? Well, I don't think they're just passing through. And that's not all. Remember our little tough friend? The one who wanted to join us? Yeah, what about him? Had a fight with Carson. Tried to get him to draw. Got his brains knocked out instead. Ah, uh, that's bad. Trying to make an impression, I guess. You know that little fool? He's liable to get us in trouble getting. You'd better calm him down, Tom. There's no telling what he might do. Yeah, I'll calm him down, all right. Will. Yeah? You know that little gunslinger that came around to see us? Sure. I want you to take him out. Never mind. I'll take care of it. see why we don't hold off the government stage. Take away the payroll before it ever reaches the post office. Well, it's like I told you. That stage is going to be guarded by troops. And we're not going to be fools enough to tackle the army. Now, I've never steered you wrong yet, have I? Everything's been set perfect. Let's not lose our head. I know, but Carson's in town. Carson's going to have his own troubles. But somebody put a bug in that waiter's ear down at the K.A. about the shooting. And it's going to be all over town why that kid was bushwhacked. Uh, yeah. Will, leave it up to me. Rose will tip us off when the payroll shipment hits the post office. Then we'll crack the post office like we've always done. Carson will be busy, you reckon, huh? Too busy to worry about us. 
Yes, and Carson was plenty sorry, Joel, for what he'd done. He sure walloped him around. And you reckon it was Carson who bushwhacked Joel last night? Yeah, it was either him or that sidekick of his, that El Toro. Well, I don't know. Carson's an army scout. He's got a good reputation. I don't think he'd go around ambushing youngsters. I do. Carson's quick on the trigger. That's his reputation. I demand you arrest him. Will you sign the complaint? I sure will. And you've got plenty of evidence, Sheriff. The waiter here saw the fight, saw my son give Carson a beating, until both Carson and his partner jumped him and knocked him out. Should have seen the boy. Then they had to finish it off by shooting him in the back. Okay, I'll draw up the complaint. You sign it, and I'll serve the warrant on Carson and El Toro. You know, it's a terrible thing. That lad was only 18 years old. Perhaps he was trying to be tough again. Nobody seems to know. There wasn't a single witness and he was shot in the back. Well, I hope it don't tie into them outlaws. Because I'm looking for that payroll to come in tomorrow morning. And when it does, I'm going to put it right back there in that safe. When is the payroll supposed to be picked up? Well, as soon as the foreman gets here from the construction camp. But I don't know when that's going to be. I could open that vault myself with a hairspin. Uh, just a moment, bud. That's the latest thing in safes, straight from Pittsburgh. And anyhow, I'm going to have a guard on it, night and day. Nevertheless, it'll be a great temptation. El Toro and I better stand close by just in case. That is after the money gets in the safe. Is them government orders? Them's government orders. Mm -hmm. All right. Just a minute, you two. I've got a warrant for your arrest. Me? You and your partner. Sheriff, why? For the murder of Joel Sloan last night. Wait, I, I had a fight with the boy. Sure, I was forced into it. But murder? Sheriff, you're talking to Kit Carson working for the United States government. I know all about that. But I'm working for the township of Briscoe. And one of the citizens of Briscoe signed a complaint against you two for the murder of his son. Where's your proof? Anybody see us kill the boy? That'll all be decided in court, Carson. Meanwhile, you and El Toro will have to go to jail. But I'm here on official business. That don't excuse murder, Carson. Now, you'd better come along. Well, any other time, I'd be happy to oblige, Sheriff. But this big government payroll coming in, and El Toro and I were sent down here to help guard it. I reckon the local authorities ain't good enough for that. Well, I'll look after it while you and your pal are in the Husqua. Now, come on. <laughs> Sorry to do this, Sheriff. You have the wrong men, and I don't have time to prove it to you. Come on up, Toro. Over there. You'll never get away with this, Carson. I'll take my chances. Come on. No. The chief inspector wanted us to grab the gang that's been holding up the post offices. What about the sheriff and his posse? Did you ever play hide-and-go-seek when you were a kid, Toro? I've been playing that all my life. Then this won't be anything new. We'll grab the gang and give ourselves up to the sheriff and prove we didn't kill the boy. Who do you suppose did kill him and why? Well, he was young and he probably made a lot of enemies because he wanted to be an outlaw. Let's see what we got in the saddlebags in the way of food. I can tell you right now, beans. Oh, well. Barbecue jackrabbit and beans wouldn't be bad. Uh, you get the jackrabbit. Yes, they were carrying it in when I left town. And you were right, Tom. It was brought in by the troopers. Yeah. You're always right. Let's go. Wait a minute. Where's Carson? 
That's what the sheriff and his posse would like to know. Well, like I said, they'll keep Carson's partner busy. Yeah, yeah. You're always right, like I said. Let's get the payroll and get out of here. I'm tired of this place. Well, you know, for once, I think you're right. Let's get the town. I'd better go along. Yeah. Now, we'll get the rest of the men, and if anything goes wrong, we'll meet back here. We want to get back to town. Now's the time, Toro. Say, the sheriff and his posse may be out a long time. They may even trail us after this camp. Bueno, then they can have the coffee we won't be able to drink. Vámonos. The sooner the better. The gang's gonna hold out that post office. Now's the time. See, si, with the sheriff on a wild goose chase and you and I here. What are we waiting for? Thank the fire, Toro. Sleeping Indian camp. Yes, and twice as dangerous. You go around to the back of the post office and guard the rear door. Perhaps it's none of my business, but who do you think will get here first, the sheriff or the outlaws? It's hard to tell. My guess is that the sheriff is just about up to our camp by now. Let's get going. Well, I thought the sheriff had you in tow. Yeah, don't worry about him. Is the payroll in the safe? Sure. And between that guard and me, we can take care of it. When is it supposed to be picked up? Well, maybe tonight, maybe in the morning. The farmer from construction camp is on his way in here. Well, well Toro and I will stand by just in case. And forget about the sheriff. Oh, I can forget about him, all right. But can he forget about you? That's my worry. Boy, don't seem to worry very much, does he? They've been here, all right. Looks like they're headed back to town. Al, you come with me. The rest of you keep looking. Help. Walk down to the post office, Rose, and take a look around. Carson's out in front, and his friends in back. Well, that's too bad for them. Rose, I'll tell you what you do. Get him 
out of sight. You get back to the horses and have them ready. Well, the first word out of either of you will be a last. case, we won't mind taking a few people along with us. And you'll be the first if you don't open that safe. Suppose I don't. Well, there'll be a lot of bloodshed, and we'll get it open anyway. Post office. Carson is fan of pulling a stick up. All right, Carson, put up your hands. You two are under arrest. You're wrong, Sheriff. The men you're after are inside. Keep your lies to yourself. Sheriff, this is a terrible mistake. Yes, the mistake is yours. What a break. All right, you two, inside. Better get help for the postmaster, Sheriff. He's hurt. Get a doctor. I'm warning you, Sheriff. It's a trick. That's what you'd like it to be. Thanks to you two men, we've caught the real outlaws. I'll see that you're rewarded for this. Thanks, Sheriff. In that case, we'll take it right now. All right, Sheriff. Now it's your turn to drop your guns. Now, just stay there and you won't get hurt. Get the bag. <laughs> Save me from the biggest mistake of my life. That goes for me, too, kid. That girl sure left an impression on me. 
If you think you've got an impression, Omega, look at that knot on my head. At least uh, you didn't lose your heads. What? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Toro. <laughs> We really hope you enjoyed this Western episode of The Adventures of Kit Carson starring Bill Williams and Don Diamond. And we hope you'll join us again for another episode of a Western TV show or a Western movie or one of our original webcast Western episodes. My name is Bob Terry. Have a great tastic day and we hope to see you again on down the trail here on Westerns on the Web. Appreciate you coming by to see us. Get ready for a fantastic episode of The Adventures of Kit Carson starring Bill Williams and Don Diamond. And remember, it's brought to you free by Wild West Toys and you can shop with Wild West Toys at www.toyguntown.com and we have hundreds of Western television shows and movies at westernsontheweb.com. Come on by and see us, www westerns on the web.com thanks again we'll see you after the show the Yellowstone country big rivers and high mountains something you've never seen before in your life right here Boiling water that shoots 100 feet in the air. I think Carson's been taking some of that snake bite medicine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said, amigos. Hot water a mile high. I saw it too. When El Toro and I leave here, we're going to map those boiling geysers for the United States government. Yeah, I understand you can sell the government a bill of goods on most anything today. Toro! Pancho, what are you doing here? Looking for you. Your uncle Manuel is in trouble. What's the matter? The feud with the Hernandez family has broken out again. Your uncle is in great danger. Amigo, my uncle is in trouble. I must leave. I'll meet you in the Yellowstone country. Perhaps you can find someone else to help you. This time it's my turn to help you. Come on. his friend Kit Carson and Pancho. Save it, they're too far away. I must see who my uncle is. Tio Manuel. Oh. Where's Tia Maria? Your aunt is upstairs. 
Senor Carson, you have come at an unhappy time. What's all the shooting about? I'll tell you. The Hernandez family has started an old family feud up again. Your uncle Jose was ambushed and killed, and your cousin Juan was wounded. This is terrible, uncle. What started the feud? The Hernandez family are distant cousins of ours. Ever since the family first came from Spain, there has always been bad blood between us. But now something else has happened. My grandfather died in Mexico City and left me some money in the family collection of jewels. The Lopez collection. They're real heirlooms in the family for generations. Nobody knows they're real value, but they are worth more to the family in sentiment. But now the Hernandez family wants the inheritance. They claim they are the rightful heirs. My grandfather would never leave them to the Hernandez family. He knew that they would sell this priceless collection and squander the money on dissipation. But didn't your grandfather leave a legal will? See, si, the will has been mailed to the judge in San Felipe, and the jewels and money are arriving here by special messenger. Well, in that case, the Hernandez family can't expect anything. You don't know them. They will stop at nothing. We'll see. Come on, Toro, we got our job cut out for us. Pierda cuidado. Gracias. Who is it? It's me, Judge. Pete Wills. Sit down. This is a will. A Mexican will, leaving certain heirlooms to a certain family. I want you to copy this and change the name of the family. Can you do it? It's a cinch, Judge. But you have to give me this kind of paper. I've already arranged that. Oh. What do you want me to change the name to? From Manuel Lopez to Pablo Hernandez. OK. I'll get you the materials. I didn't know you were in town. I came to visit my uncle. You know my friend, Kit Carson. I've heard a great deal about you, Carson. This is my daughter, Janet. You remember her, don't you, Toro? She was, she was just a little girl. Carson, I'm glad you're in town. We've been having some trouble. Maybe you can help the law. I've heard about it, a bad feud. I've seen the like in Tennessee. Exactly. I'm anxious to have this stopped. I agree with you, Judge. I hear the fault lies with the Hernandez family. Well, yes and no. You know how feuds start. A quarrel in a bar, a couple of people brush against each other in the street, a few hot words. It's, it's hard to tell exactly. But this one seems to be a little more serious than just a few hot words. Yes, that's right. Well, maybe the whole thing can be settled with the reading of the will. You have it, of course. Yes. Uh, but it's sealed. I, I can't open it until the probate date, which is a week from today. And you don't know what's in it? No, of course not. I'll read the will in probate court to the interested parties. Senorita, I cannot tell you how happy I am to see that you've grown into such a beautiful flower. I know about you, El Toro. Perhaps you'd like to know more about me from my own lips? Perhaps. My father's house is always open. Gracias. I shall come and call. Well, we've got to be getting home. I'm glad to have met you. I'm sure we'll meet again. I hope so, Judge. Good What beautiful eyes. Yes. You know, I can't understand it. The judge said he's anxious to stop the feud. Yet he's not going to open that will for another week. Maybe there is something funny about that. Yes, in the meantime, what happens to law and order? Janet. Quarters on no more. That's enough of that. I want to talk to you, Pablo. You'll excuse us, Janet? Why, yes. Sit down.
Take a look at that. But this is wonderful, and it looks authentic, too. So far as the world knows, it is authentic, Pablo. What did you do to the other will, the real one? That, my dear friend, is still in my strong box. But why? You must destroy it. Oh, no. That's my insurance, Pablo. I must remind you of our arrangement. When the family of fortune arrives, it's to be divided equally between you and me. But you have the word of Hernandez. I'd rather have the other will. Senor, I cannot understand you. I'm going to marry your daughter. You're going to be my father-in-law. Still, you distrust me. I've been a judge for a long time. I've seen many strange things happen, Pablo. Well, let's play it my way. Besides, you'll have to make the others in your family understand. Oh, well, that is easy for some. Another thing. I want no more bloodshed. There's no need for it. When the messenger arrives, I'll read the will in court. We'll all be divided equally, and that will be the end of the matter. Understand? Perhaps, senor. I'd do it like a little insurance. What do you mean? The whole Lopez family is no more. Nobody can inherit the money in heirlooms but us. Now, listen to me. The nephew, El Toro, is in town. Bueno, there'll be just one more to get rid of. That isn't all. He brought his friend with him, Kit Carson. He's no man to fool with. This Kit Carson, he is human, isn't he? I suppose he is. But he's not stupid. But a bullet can kill him also. I wonder if it isn't something more than just money with you, Pablo. Pablo. He's hard to control. I'm afraid he's a born killer. Oh, well, he's hot-headed. That's his nature. He can cause you a great deal of trouble. Do you see this drawer? There's a secret compartment under here. If anything should happen to me, this will be your safeguard. It's the real will. And I'm hiding it here. I understand. Gentlemen. Judge. Well, I know you gentlemen have business. Excuse me. Now, what seems to be the matter? What seems to be the matter, he asks? My family shot down like dogs. My amigo and me ambushed. Is there no law enforcement in this town? Just a minute, Toro. I heard about that unfortunate shooting. The marshal is working on the case. We have a good idea who the assailants are, Judge. Who would you name? The Hernandez family. Who else? Have you any witnesses? Do we need witnesses? You know about the feud. You can end all this bloodshed if you just open that will and read it. Well... All right, if you think it'll really help. Sit down, please. Spanish. My Spanish isn't very good. Suppose you read it, Toro. I hereby leave and bequeath my property consisting of a hundred and five pieces of jewelry to the Hernandez family and such cash and property as I... Mira, the money and jewels have been left to the Hernandez. That's that. Your family's been left out in the cold. I do not believe it. My uncle would not lie. I'm sorry, Toro. But it's written here in his grandfather's own handwriting. May I take this to my uncle? 
Oh, no. No, I shouldn't have even let you see it. Well, let's go, Toro. I'm sorry things turned out for you this way, Toro. Thanks, Judge. Hola, muchachos. Tío, how do you feel? How can I feel with those murderers roaming the streets free? We just left Judge Coleman's house. We finally opened and read the will. Si, si. According to the will he showed us, your grandfather left everything to the Hernandez family. It's a fake. It's impossible. Please, uncle, do not excite yourself. But I tell you, I saw my grandfather face to face only a year ago. He promised everything to us, and he would never go back on a promise. Certainly, he would never leave anything to the Hernandez family whom he mistrusted. That's what I figured. Something awful fishy about this whole business. But the will, it looked real. Yes, it looked authentic, but I believe your uncle, don't you? See, I know my uncle is telling the truth. And that will must be a fake. There must be two wills. But what are we to do if the court awards the inheritance to the Hernandez? What can we do? The collection will be broken and sold for gambling debts. Do you have any idea when that messenger will arrive from Mexico City? I'm not sure. Uh, tomorrow or maybe the next day. Toro, I think you and I shall ride down and greet that messenger. See, that would be a friendly thing to do. All right, out with the guns. Throw out the strong box. Open it. Keep the rest, gentlemen. Sorry to bother you. Everything's been stolen. What? The Wells Fargo messenger just got into town and said the stage had been held up by two masked men. Bandits? I wonder. He said that only the valuables from Mexico City were taken. The rest of the money in the strong box was left. Now that's very strange. Not to me. You say El Toro and his friend are in town. They're the sort of men who would do this. They wouldn't dare. It's grand theft. Besides, I showed them the will proving you to be the heir. Fool! This is why they do it, don't you understand? I can't believe that Carson would be that suspicious. I will gather the members of my family and break down the doors to the Lopez Hacienda. No, I have a better idea. I'll issue a search warrant. Your no legal ideas. This is my search warrant. At least a million pesos. How beautiful they are. We have the collection now. They'll never be able to take it. Oh, wait a minute, senor. There's still the will and there's still the law. If that will is read in court, the Hernandez family will legally own these jewels. But you said yourself that possession is nine points of the law. Right. We only borrowed these jewels to keep the Hernandez family from selling them. What we've got to prove now is that you own them legally. But how? El Toro and I are going to take a little ride. Wrap these up and put them in a safe place. Si, senor. Son amor mio, don't you recognize my voice? Who is it? I know it isn't Pablo. 
How can you forget me so soon, Janet? You who are my only true love. Come to the door. All right. Wait. Come here. How can you consider a man like Pablo Hernandez when I am available? There's nothing wrong with Pablo. like your uncle has visitors. See, si, and I do not like it. Happy to see you again, gentlemen. Underlay. Well, Senor Carson.
Got one shot left, Pablo. My nephew, you have restored the honor of our name. And you, senor, have restored the family treasures to their rightful owner. I can never thank you enough. Oh, it was a pleasure. Besides, I didn't want you to think that Judge Coleman was typical of the law in this country. I understand, senor. Success to your Yellowstone expedition. Oh, I'd forgotten about that. Now it's your turn to help me, Toro. Let's go. Adios. enjoyed this episode of The Adventures of Kit Carson, starring Bill Williams and Don Diamond. And remember, if you need some American-made toys, some die-cast metal cap pistols for your little buckaroos that run around, come on by ToyGunTown.com. And if you're looking to watch tons of Western movies and television shows for free online, come by and see us at WesternsOnTheWeb.com. Thanks again. I'm Bob Terry, and we hope to see you again on down the trail. Have a great day.